My name is Richard Centeno. I'm in the Film Bachelor Degree Program. I am going to be interviewing Adam Singletary. He is a writer. He has experience in scripts for web series, uh, as well as novels, short stories, and papers, essays. What do you see as the role of the visual arts in society today, particularly in your profession? I guess I see it as another dimension of storytelling, in addition to traditional written word. New communications and media technologies make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe this is having a positive or negative influence on your field or industry? Both. Positive being that material is accessible almost instantaneously to the person viewing it. Negative to the fact that it's also easily accessible for anyone to make said content. So you get a lot of things that aren't really worth anybody's time, but they're still getting out there. And it kind of gives a bad name to the stuff that's actually been put a lot of hard work into. Okay. What popular images do you see that are frequently repeated throughout your industry? I immediately think of sex. Sex? Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can see that, I sex see. being... I see Fabio over a long section of books in Barnes and Noble. So it's not even just sex, it's the the, the Adonis yeah. image. I mean, it's still used. It's not Fabio necessarily anymore, but it's a very heavily used image. Okay. Um, who's one of your favorite visual artists and or what is your favorite style of visual art? I would say Andy Warhol is my favorite visual artist. What was the second part of the question? What's your favorite visual style of visual art? I mean, is it painting, sculpting, cinema, photography, <laughs> um, woodworking, architecture? Painting is probably the number one. Uh, I found a new love of like computer generated imagery using like Photoshop and Illustrator and things like that, like digital paint, I guess. Okay. Because there's some really interesting things being done with that now that weren't necessarily available before. Plus, it's an easy way to get into it and it costs a lot less because you don't have to buy supplies. Okay. How has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? I mean, you're a writer, so I can imagine. Well, there's the want to emulate things that have been successful, and then there's the want to be different, which is difficult, so as not to fall into the cliche category, one of the deadly sins. <laughs> No, we don't want cliches. Okay. All right, that's it. Thank you. See you later. Bye.